CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. Well, here we are at the Wacker. I'm here with Vaughny. I have to first apologise for my voice. I was at Bon Jovi last night, so there's not much left. Um, have you seen the pitch? Has yeah, it I've seen, I, I have to lock the kid. Get the gigs on, mate. Get the gigs on. Well, it's, it's a bit bright. Hot and bright. So it's going to be on 38 to 40 this weekend. Pitch looks very similar to the Wacker. Bit of grass on it. It's going to zip through. Conventional swing this week, maybe? I think it should swing here. It's uh, it's probably too too green to get any reverse swing happening. I haven't seen the pitch yet. I have seen it online. It looked quite green, but um, should swing around a fair bit. Now let's talk about the two captains. You first about Michael Clark, and I'll talk about Alistair Cook. Just tell us more about Clarkie. Well, Clarkie is a bloke. He um, he enjoys it. He's a, he's a fighter. I, I read somewhere today that Gilly was saying how much he enjoys the contest, he enjoys the fight. Um, but he loves, you know, he loves the competition too. You know, he loves getting in there and, and getting amongst it. The most important thing about Clark is that he's around for a long time, and we'll get to that in a second. But um, yeah, I reckon now that once once you give Clark half a sniff, uh, it's it's all well and good when he's got his back against the wall, and he's getting peppered from the the bowlers and everything, and and also from a team point of view. But when he gets his nose in front, he's pretty hard to stop. Yeah, both playing their hundredth test match this week. Alistair Cook, he's just Mr. Dependable. You know what you're getting with Cook. You know he's going to be out there fighting. You know pretty much that he's going to be consistent. Not so much on this tour, but over the last three years, he's had three shots, he's had a cut shot, he's had a flick of the hip, <laughs> and then he brings the pull shot out. This is the week that Alistair Cook will bring it back out. Hundredth test match, and he'll be eyeing out hundred. It should suit his game with a bit more bounce, so he can get the pull shot and the cut shot away. And it will, and you did mention about the heat here. It's going to be like 40 degrees tomorrow. He doesn't sweat. I've never, ever seen Alistair Cook sweat. Well, that's the, the manner of his fitness, I guess. But let's just talk about this pitch more. England are potentially going to play five bowlers. Stokes at number six. They'll mm. bring Breslin in, possibly for Monty Panesar. I'm not having anyone saying that Graham Swan should miss out. I'm sorry. Graham Swan, for me, he plays there this week. And I think Lyon should also have to play here for you know Australia as well. I don't believe that you can go in with an absolute barrage of short pitch fast bowling. Uh, it, it used to work back in the days, but I think with the heat around, um, Depending on what, what happens, with, obviously, with the wicket overnight, I think Lyon will have to play. We've obviously got the, the injury to, to James Faulkner. Just had word then that he broke his, his finger. He won't be taking any part. Um, someone like a Bollinger could be in the mix as well to bowl his left arm fast. He does swing the ball back in. Dug so. the rug, get dug the rug back in. Now, let's go for a <laughs> prediction. You're going to go, what? I guess you'll go Australia. England have lost the last six times. I think our best if feet is something like mm. 206 runs has been the closest we've got to Australia. So we're due to get a little bit closer. You are due. Oh, I just think that uh, Australia have got their nose in front. As I mentioned with Michael Clark, he's a great leader. Uh, he loves being in front. He loves when he's had a few wins under his belt. I think Australia will win here. If Australia win here, it'll be a 5-0 whitewash. I don't think it will be. I don't think it's going to be as easy coming out here and bowling short and getting wickets. Um, the thing that I don't want to see though is Australia just, just assume it's going to happen. They've got to work really hard for their wickets. I get a sense this week that England will fight back. I get a sense that they've been pushed so far into a corner mm. that they're all going to come out fighting. It's either going to go one of two ways. It'll either go to the way of England winning this week or it'll go the complete opposite and England will get completely hammered like they did in 10. 11. Yeah. So I'm sitting completely on the fence. It'll all come down to how England start tomorrow. If they bat, they've got to get over 350. If they bowl, mm. they've got to go and bowl Australia out for under 250. And just need a little bit of luck with a toss. Cookie, 100th test match. <laughs> Win it. Maybe a special coin. I, I, I think quickly on the England point of view, I reckon Kevin Peterson holds the key tomorrow. I reckon he's the guy that needs to stand up now and, uh, and really say, look, I want to make a difference. Mm. Score a big 100. And maybe, as you said, Cook with 100 as well. So. King Kev. Good luck.